What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today on my channel, we're going to be buying some stocks. We're going to look at the dividend payout and uh, we're going to be dollar cost averaging into the market. So this week I got another $500, like every week, $500 going into the market. So let's go and pull up my uh, Charles Schwab account and look at what we're going to buy. Go over some numbers. All right, so you see I still got uh, 56000 in there. Went down a little bit here, $226. See, I got $518 to spend. Uh, we're not going to do any of this available to day trade because uh, I don't know how to do that, $170,000. I'm not going to do that. not going to buy a margin or anything like that. Margin equity, five, 55000 I'm not going to do any of that silly stuff because I don't know how. And when you buy a margin... You got to pay interest on it, and it's a lot of money. I already made that mistake before. Don't want to do it again. All right, let's see here. Let's pull up my accounts. See what I want to buy. So I'm going to buy some more Ford. I want to buy a bunch of Ford every week. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up Ford and see what we got in the Ford. Point up, point up, point up. So it's eleven dollars and fifty cents right now. Let's see what their dividend is. So this is the one day chart. Today's Friday. Let's see what the one year chart looks like. Okay, the highest it was was July twenty three at like fifteen dollars. The lowest it was was November twenty three at nine dollars ninety one cents. Let's see what the dividend payout is. Pull this up on the screen. Fifteen cents a share. I'm paying out 15 cents a share for a long time. I think it might have paused during the uh, a little coughing break that we had, but an annual dividend yield of 5.12%. It's pretty good, pretty good. I'm going to hold this Ford stock pretty much uh, forever probably, unless it just completely tanks, and I'm going to be reinvesting those dividends at a cheaper rate. So let's say we buy, let's go and buy 10 of them. What do y'all think? We should buy 10. Let's go up here to buy. Uh, buy 10. Okay. Uh, we want it. Just market, just dollar cover, dollar cost averaging into the market. 10 at market price would be eleven dollars and forty-eight and a half cents. Let's review that order. Okay, let's see. Are we coming up on the screen? Yeah, we're on the screen. Uh, and then we will place our order for 10 of them. Okay, or received. Okay, let's see what else we want. Let's go back here to accounts. Do balances, positions. I go to positions, see if it see if it already bottom. Ford 170. So now we have 170 shares of Ford. 3.46% of account. So what else we want to buy? I think I want to buy some Lowe's. Lowe's is two hundred eighteen dollars right now. Let's go to Lowe's. See what their dividend is. Let's go to one year chart of Lowe's. Came up high at the same time July. Had the same dippy do down in November, just like all the other stocks. So they got a two percent annual dividend yield. And they were at one dollar and five cents per share. Now they're at a dollar ten cents per share. Went up a little bit. Went up maybe five percent. That's what the dividend increase was. You know, dividend rate four dollars and forty cents a year. So dollar ten, dollar ten, dollar ten here, dollar ten here equals four dollars and forty cents. So let's see, what was the price? Two hundred and two hundred eighteen dollars. So I only have enough to buy one. I'm buy one right now. Buy one every few weeks. Buy one market review. All right, place order. All right, so let's see what my how much money do I got left? Two hundred dollars. Uh, five fifteen minus three thirty three is almost two hundred bucks. What can I buy for two hundred bucks? 
So we got for 200 bucks this week. How many shares of something I could buy? So that's 162 for ABBV, 154 for Amazon. It doesn't have any dividends, so I'm not buying any more of that. If you don't have dividend, I could buy Coca Cola. That's $60. I have a bunch of that. That represents 7.3% of my account. I could buy LYB. I could buy Waste Management. I don't have very much Waste Management. Let's look at this FLQL. Let's buy some ETFs. That's only 1.3%. My SPHD, 1.94%. BTI. Let's buy a. Oh, these are expensive. XYD covered call. Uh, let's go up here and buy. Let's buy FLQL for $48. Let's buy two of those for $48. Let's go look at it. Let's go see what we got. See what's happening here. See where we're at. Let's look at the one-year chart. Okay, it's been climbing. Doing pretty good over this year. Expense ratio. Total assets, $1.2 billion. Total holdings, 2015 Portfolio turnover, 51.95%. Okay, it doesn't see here we are. Distributions and yields. Distributions and yields. Is distribution yield 1.5? It's that's not really that high, but and it keeps kind of bouncing around here. But let's pick two up anyway. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. It's gonna keep climbing, so let's just get a few more of them. And then on here, you can see like the Morning Star style break, break box, box style. Morning, Morning Star style box stocks. 37% large. And it says it was holding information technology, healthcare, consumer, discretionary. You can see the percentage of what they're holding in the portfolio. See the uh, ratings here. Three, four, three. Let's go buy, let's pick up two of these. Two of these bad boys here. To market order because we're dollar cost average into the market. Picking them up, place order, order received. Okay, let's go back to account balances. See how much more money I got. No, that's not it. Balances. So I got almost, I got 90 bucks, almost 90 bucks, $89 to spend this week let's go to positions see what i can buy my see what i can buy here for 89 dollars i might pick up another coca-cola and i'm not buying any more jeppy because i bought a hundred jeppy i got the dividend payout i got a free 8.8 .8 jeppies in a year um i'm up 98 dollars on that I'm up $2,178 on my VOO, Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm down $667 on this Tesla. When it comes back up, I'm probably going to sell it. When it hits $300, I'm going to sell it. Up $625 on the Amazon. All right, so I should buy. What do you think I should buy? Coca-Cola? I'll buy. Let's go look at Coca-Cola. See how Coca-Cola is panning out this year. Let's look at the one-year chart. Okay, I think they're down a little bit. Yeah, they are. They went up May, pretty good, sixty-four dollars. Everyone had this dippy do back in October, November. See what the dividend is. Okay, three percent dividend. That's pretty decent dividend. Uh, paying out forty-six cents a quarter per share of stock you have or I have. So, expected earnings, we can look at all that. Hoopla dupla there. I'm happy. Yeah, we don't, I don't know what all that means. So, I'm just going to dollar cost average into the market. There's $60.17. Let's see here. Let's see. We want to buy one share at the market, dollar cost average. Okay. Place order. Okay. Or received. Perfect. Let's go back up here to accounts. Summary. Let's see what we're looking at today, guys. Okay, let's look at my investment income. See how it's going to pay out for me this year. 
So already this year I received I received sixty one dollars and thirty five cents so far this year. I didn't pay any in interest for January. And I'm still gonna get another four dollars and thirteen cents later on this month. February I haven't received anything yet, but it will be $112.60. March, I'm going to get $283.70. April, $81.34. May, I'm going to get $112.58. June, $283.70. July, I'll get $81.34. And August, I'll get $112.59. September, I'll get $283.70. October 81.34, November 112.59, December I'll get 283.70. Y'all notice how it's always one penny more on, I'm getting one penny of interest. I think that's from the cash I have in the account. Every week I put the $500 in there, so it's in there for a few days. So I'm going to get a little bit of interest, which is one penny. But if I had a lot of money sitting there in cash, I'd get a lot more, a lot higher percentage so it's saying that I'm going to get $1,894 estimated for the year. But as I continue to buy more and more shares, I'm going to get more and more dividends, dollar cost averaging into the market. See, so the next 12 months, I guess that'll be also this year, next 12 months, 1910. Let's see what, what paid me out so far this year. So, to, well, total income from ABBB. Six dollars and two cents. Coca Cola, I'll get sixty one dollars and thirty. No, that's twenty twenty three income. Let's look at twenty twenty four income over here on the right hand side. Ninety three dollars and sixty nine cents from ABBB. Zero dollars from Amazon unless I sell it. Hundred two dollars from Ford. Hundred twenty seven from Coca Cola, and I'm reinvesting all these dividends. They got my drip turned on, buying right back into the market. Lows 3131. So we're gonna keep we're gonna keep stepping that lows up till I get a pretty good payment there. Lindell, $211.87. That's a pretty good stock to buy. Pretty good corporation there. O Realty Income Corporate REIT, $190.92 uh, this coming up year total. Tesla, nothing, and it dropped. I'm sad that it dropped. It'll come back up, I think, hopefully. Waste management, 3431. I only got 12 shares of those. I should buy some more of those. Let's see. FLQL, $12.16. I need more of those. Jeppy, $505 this year. Schwab, $59.47. SPHD, $49.54. BOO, the Vanguard SP 500 ETF, $242.91. BTI, Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, $13.54. BUG is the Vanguard Growth ETF. Five dollars twenty-five cents. It's not very much. I only have three shares of those, so I, I, if I buy more, clearly I'm going to get more. I need to start investing more in that. But it's three hundred twelve dollars a share. I wonder if I could buy half these. I wonder if I could buy half a share on Schwab. I don't know. XYLD Global X SP five hundred covered call ETF. One hundred ninety-nine dollars uh, fifty-two cents. It says total income twenty four twenty four two hundred four. Oh, it already paid me out two hundred fourteen dollars sixty seven cents. So this is the thirteen cents. So one penny per month of cash uh, interest is what they're paying me. One penny on whatever money I have in here. All right, guys. Let's see what else. What else do we need to talk about today? Portfolio portfolio performance. Let's go over my performance. So January first up to now. So, cumulative rate of return, 0.06% in 11 days. It dipped down a little bit, a few things dipped down. As you can see, I put $1,000 in so far this year. $500 one week, $500 the next week. So, we're just going to continue doing this for a very long time. At least another 13 years I got of investing $500 a week. Uh, you know, so I don't have to rely on you know, a 401k or a pension when I retire, and it's going to be there, but I want to have extra money to uh, live my life. A little bit more money here and there. All right, guys. Um, I appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Give me a little subscribe down there in that corner. I think it's that corner. 
hit the subscribe button. And uh, I will see y'all next week. I'm going to make another video next week when I buy some more stock. Thanks, guys, for stopping by. Oh, where's my screen? How do I stop this?